In IBD, the treat-to-target concept rests on achieving mucosal healing, which is a major goal of this approach. Mucosal healing is an independent predictor of sustained clinical remission and reductions in long-term complications and surgery rates. Some studies have found higher rates of short-term mucosal healing with higher induction drug levels. Lower drug levels during induction may be linked to higher inflammatory burden and antibody levels. This raises the question of whether drug level monitoring during induction could increase mucosal healing rates. What is known is that early aggressive therapy plus frequent routine monitoring and appropriate therapeutic adjustments may produce mucosal healing in a substantial proportion of patients with inflammatory bowel disease. Achieving this goal can improve outcomes and decrease the need for surgery. Unfortunately, surgery is still all too common in our disease population. Surgery, especially emergency surgery, can be associated with significant morbidity and mortality. Up to 80% of patients with Crohn's disease and 30% of patients with ulcerative colitis ultimately still require surgery. Despite the development of minimally invasive techniques, surgery is not a durable therapeutic outcome as it does not affect disease course.